Well, what's the difference between Google Scholar and Albertson's Library at Boise State? They're both databases. They both search for scholarly articles. You have, there are pros and cons to both. The pros for Boise State, of course, is you already have an account and just about all the articles that you search for are available as full text PDF downloads or full text downloads. You can also search specifically for peer, let's go ahead and click articles. You can search specifically for peer reviewed articles, which makes the Boise State Albertsons Library very, very helpful. As you can see, by default, peer reviewed are automatically selected. So you have that filtering for you. And then, as you know, you can select any of these and usually you can find them at Boise State. The easiest way to do it is just click this Find It button, this blue Find It button, and Boise State usually has licenses with the various journal databases, and that's how you can, so click the link to the article, so that's how you can get this stuff for free, and so you can download the full text for free. All right, now let's look at Google Scholar. Google Scholar, on the other hand, has a bigger database. I mean, there's no doubt that you can access just about anything through Google Scholar. Not all of them will be peer reviewed, but you have a, a wider variety of resources to choose from and a much deeper database. But you can't sometimes always know for sure if they're peer reviewed, so you have to look at the article and judge. And sometimes you're not able to get the full text document, so that doesn't do you any good. However, I'm going to go ahead and show you, this was a, an article that was provided by one of your classmates, and as you can see, if I click this through just direct link from Google Scholar and I want to get the PDF, I won't be able to get it without an account through Wiley Online Library. However, we know that Boise State probably has a license with them, and in fact they do. If I click Find It at Boise State, and here is that same journal database, I'm right here, and now I'm able to get the PDF. If I click this, I'll be able to download the PDF. All right, so let's go back to Google Scholar. How did I get that button on there? It was magic. No, it wasn't magic. Let me show you. I have to get back there. So here's that Find It at Boise State link. If you click the settings icon, it looks like a little cog wheel at the upper right of Google Scholar and library links, you'll be able to add Boise State Library. Let me unadd it, unselect it. So this is what it looks like without being able to link up with Boise State Library. Of course, you need to be signed in at Boise State, but you know that. And you'll get the login screen anyhow if you're not signed in. So let's go ahead and click the settings for Google Scholar library links. Let's go ahead and do a search for Boise State. And there it is. I will select Boise State, click Save, and now my search will show up. Find it at Boise State. So again, the differences are Albertson's Library will be able to filter for peer-reviewed and more than likely provide full text articles on just about anything you find. Google Scholar has a much larger database to search from, has the ability to, to link to Boise State, so it'll save you a step in finding the full text article, but does not offer you the ability to filter for peer-reviewed articles. I hope this quick video helps you become a better searcher on Google Scholar and on Albertson's library. Thanks for viewing.